Welcome. Today we are talking about the, l the role of statistics in engineering. And we start by talking about the engineering method and statistical thinking. Now, an engineer is someone who solves problems of interest to society by efficient application of scientific principles. So how does he do this? So an engineer accomplishes this by either refining an existing product or process or by designing a new product or process that meets customers' needs. Now, we have what is called the, the engineering or sci scientific method, which has the following uh, steps. Number one, develop a clear and conscious description of the problem. Number two, identify at least tentatively the important factors that affect this problem or that may play a role in its solution. Number three, propose a model for the problem using scientific or engineering knowledge of the ph phenomena being studied. And at this point, you also state any limitations or assumptions of the model. Step number four is to conduct appropriate experiments and collect data to test and validate the tentative model on conclu or conclusions made in steps two and three. Step number five, refine the model on the basis of the observed data. Number six, manipulate the model to assist in developing a solution to the problem. Number seven, conduct an appropriate experiment to confirm that the proposed solution to the problem is both effective and efficient. And finally, draw conclusions or make recommendations based on the problem solution. Now we have an illustration of these uh, steps in the engineering method as shown. We have the first step of developing a clear description, identify the important factors, propose or refine a model until at the end we have doing the con making the conclusion and recommendations. Now, the field of statistics deals with collection, presentation, analysis, and use of data to make decisions, solve problems, and design products and processes. And in simple terms, statistics is the science of data. Now, because most aspects of engineering practice involve working with data, knowledge of statistics is just as important to an engineer as any other engineering science. Specifically, Statistical techniques can be a powerful aid in one, designing new products and systems, two, improving existing designs, and three, designing, developing, and improving production process. Now, on the other hand, statistical methods are used to help us describe and understand what we call variability. Now by variability we mean and we know that successive observations of a system or phenomena do not always produce exactly the same result. We actually encounter variability in every day in our lives. Now statistical thinking can give us a useful way to incorporate this variability in our decision making process. Now let's consider this example. Consider the gasoline mileage performance of your car. Do you always get the same mileage performance on every tank of fuel? Of course not. In fact, sometimes the mileage performance varies considerably. This observed variability in 
gas or in my range depends on many factors such as the type of driving that has occurred most recently were you driving in the city or along a highway the changes in condition of the vehicle over time which could include factors such as tire impression engine compression or valve wear the brand and all octane number of gasoline used or possibly even the weather conditions that have been recently experienced now these factors represent potential sources of variability in the system statistics provides a framework for describing this variability and for learning about which potential sources of variability are the most important or which have the greatest impact on the gasoline my range so you can see that statistical thinking or statistics is very important to an engineer as we have seen uh, it actually does introduce what we call a statistical thinking which is very very important and always remember as we have seen here that statistical techniques can be a powerful tool in aid at a powerful tool or aid in designing new products and systems improving existing designs designing developing and improving production processes and we have also seen that um, statistical methods they help us to describe and understand variability so our lesson for today ends there uh, thank you